done and this is the angel hug for the weekend of Friday, Saturday and Sunday the 13th, 14th and 15th of December and I'm going to start with a card from the Archangels deck for Friday and I've got teaching and learning. So again I want to open up that uh, possibility of focusing on higher learning because we're still in that sun in Sagittarius energy which is all about higher learning, expansion and really exploring all of those bigger possibilities, bigger dreams. And I've been looking this week at how we can use the healing that we've done this year to move us forward into a, a bigger or truer or more loving manifestation in 2014, which is gonna be a very big year of transformation on very many levels. So for Friday, the message is really about making sure that we have the skills that we need, making sure that if we have plans or ideas that involve taking on another study course of study, that we start to put these plans in motion. And also it's about being very aware of that higher learning. So if we're not meditating enough, it, remembering that it's really important to connect with our guides. My guide is saying daily, and uh, we won't go into that. And um, it's really important to do that in order to build on the relationship, to develop that connection further and more strongly, and to really increase our capacity to receive higher learning from those divine sources. We need to work, we need to practice, we need to become much more adept at doing that. So Friday is gonna be a day to just be aware of the learning on all levels that we would like to take in for ourselves. Because we're looking at what we can uh, give to ourselves or what we can utilize from what we've already given ourselves in terms of healing and take into 2014 for our highest good and for the highest good of others. I'm seeing this more in the sense of what we need to learn rather than the teaching that we're doing. And of course, teaching and learning are always happening just by the nature of who we are, how we choose to be in the world, how we interact with others and how we engage, even on the minutest level. Every voice makes a sound is um, something that my guides have been saying to me recently. It's important to remember every voice makes a sound. So in terms of higher learning, Friday is gonna be a really important day to re-establish connections and to start to take practical steps to get the higher learning, the, the uh, practic the physical learning, the technical learning, the skills, the development that we might need to um, acquire on the physical plane, on the material plane from te other teachers or other sources of information as well as connecting with our guides and the infinite sources of learning. So for Saturday I'm going to choose a card from the Guardian Angels deck and I'm going to ask what is it that we really need to be learning this weekend for our highest good in order to get the best out of 2014? What do we need to learn? Not what do we need to do, not what do we need to manifest, not what do we need to heal, but what do we need to now learn? Relax. <laughs> okay, so for a lot of us, it's been quite an intense year. So we've been working on our own healing. We've been working on assisting others. We've been helping to raise the vibration, raise the frequency of the planet. And we've, and we've been also just being much more um, driven in a sense, because we know that things are moving forward and accelerating and galloping forward at quite a pace. So we want to make sure that we are steering this um, organism of ascension, of, of transformation in the most loving direction. So oh, with all of that intention, with all of that belief and that trust that what we want is possible and with all of the energy and the effort that we've put into it, we also need to remember that there's a flow and that flow involves there's a time for action and there's a time to rest and there's a time to recharge. and. Um, the message of the card is there's plenty of time to do and achieve all you desire. Place your hands gently on your heart and allow your breath to guide you to a quiet space within. So Saturday is definitely a day to stop and take stock and just chill out. <laughs> just relax. Um, 
allow your breath to guide you to a quiet space within. Imagine yourself bathed in golden light flowing from the eternal heart of God. So I can't emphasize enough how important it is for us to take time to really connect with the divine because sometimes it's very easy to just you know, we're, okay, we're going along, we're connected, we're going along, we're connected, we're going along, we're connected. And then suddenly things have started to go a little bit sort of haywire, or they don't feel quite right, or, you, you know, we're feeling t more tired than we should do, or, you know, the, you, we're accident prone, or things are not lining up in the, in the right way. And it's important for us to remember that sometimes we do just need to stop, take stock, and get reconnected, check our connection, because sometimes when we take it for granted that we're connected and that we're being guided or that we're listening to the guidance, we've actually come out of the connection and gone into our heads. So Saturday, relax, rest, chill out and do whatever you need to do to reconnect, whether that's a 15 minute meditation, a 30 minute meditation, a walk out in nature in the park, whether it's a prayer, whether it's a day of prayer even. Saturday is a really powerful day to just come back into our center and realign and re-energize and remember that this is what makes us stronger. The action that's taken from off center is not as powerful as action that's taken in alignment and we often get depleted very quickly when we act from out of alignment. But when we're centered and we're connected, there's a constant flow of divine energy coming through us and nourishing and nurturing all of our plans and all of our projects. Um, I, your guardian angel, am with you. Allow me into your heart. You will accomplish more by focusing on that which is more important in life, love. So it's important to remember that we are Love is our guiding principle, that love is the thing that we want most. Love is what we are. Love is who we are. Love is what we came here to learn about and love is what we came here to give. So when we get back into love, because that is the power that runs through everything, because if you like, God is love, then we are love because we're an expression of God. So when we connect with love, even if it's just on a personal level or through doing what we love or actually, you know, as a gateway towards connecting with that infinite divine love. Let's just make it a day to do something that reconnects us with the infinite energy that flows through us and allow that to make us uh, to make us stronger again. And also it's important to ask our guardian angels to give us a stronger connection allow them, give them permission to come closer and just ask for an experience of divine love. Ask for your guardian angel to come close and give you an experience of their presence, of their essence, before you take the next step. So Saturday, this weekend actually is looking very much about learning and reconnecting before we go forward again. So I'm gonna pick a card for Sunday and see what Sunday brings. And I'm wondering what's in the week ahead as well, because I know I won't be around for you next week so I'm wondering for Sunday what is the intention that we need to set for the week ahead that will come out of all of this uh, learning relaxing and connecting with our angels connect to your deepest inner knowing so it's a similar theme it's the same theme and it's saying the intention for the week ahead should be very similar to this weekend which is to just reconnect at a very very deep level and don't get thrown by the christmas energies or you know the last minute things or you know any of that stuff that's going on just stay in that center stay very aware of what it is we are hoping for, what it is we're planning and also what I'm hearing to go with this is connect with your deep inner knowing of what you are planning to transform in 2014 so that when things do get rough and rocky, thank you, when things do get rough and rocky as they do for some of us at this time of year, you have something that you're moving towards, that you are just going through some, uh, some kind of experience that will if it's rough and rocky, come to an end, and then you will emerge again into the peace and the quiet and the uh, the creativity of the new 
creation for next year for 2014 and of course for lots of people it is going to be a wonderful time and the important thing to remember is to stay in the moment stay in the love stay in our hearts stay present with these with each experience and remember how blessed we are how fortunate we are for so many of the things to have so many of the things that we take for granted and um, and just to enjoy every single minute of it all. And I'm just gonna say, right, so thank you so much for all of your love, all of your support for watching all of these videos and for being part of the Angel Hugs experience. I don't know what's gonna happen next year. They might come back in, in a video form, but I really, at the moment, I feel I'm gonna go more, more into exploring these things through writing and, um, and sending those messages out. So please look out for them. I'll let you know when I start again. I will certainly be doing a January focus on my blog, so look out for that. Um, I'm also going to be doing those free readings as promised so that will probably come in the form of um, it's going to be a little bit like doing the lucky dips but it's going to be a lot easier to handle because I'm just literally going to say you know if you would like a more personalized reading um, just uh, you know sign up for my newsletter that's the usual thing isn't it sign up for my newsletter and i will choose two people a week i think that's probably how it's going to go and i will give them um a reading which will be in a written form and which i will then probably post to my blog so um I, and I, you know there are all sorts of other things that are possible next year as well all sorts of creative things and uh, and interesting adventures and um i'm really looking forward to sharing all of that with you and i just want to say once again i have just been so overwhelmed sometimes by the love and the preciousness and the kindness that you've shown throughout all of these readings and I know we have been a small but very very um, I don't know I suppose I would say a very high frequency bunch with with very specific needs and with real a true sensitivity and a real mission that isn't necessarily always visible or always that easy to explain and I it has been for me very much an adventure to become more visible in this way and that will possibly continue in some other form in some other place I'm open to all of that I just want to say it has been a real joy sharing this experience with you and of course there will be other videos at some point next year um, when I've decided or once I've reconnected and recalibrated and decided what I'm going to do with all of this in 2014. In the meantime, while I'm away, please feel free to connect with me, to contact me by email or to, or if you'd like to book a reading or some mentoring or some healing, just click on one of the links below the video and, um, and connect with me that way. Um, also, thank you very much for all the comments about the Angel Hug song, which was a, another labour of love. So please do feel free to come back and listen to that more. It will be um, a bit more complete at some point in the future. And there will be other songs as well. There will be other creations coming along at some point. And um, I think that's about it really. So have a great Christmas, everyone. Have a great holiday season. Have a fantastic new year. And uh, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. And lots of love to you all. Please post any comments that you, of any questions that you want to ask at all on the subject of intuitive development or 2014 or anything at all that you're interested in that I might not have covered in this video today. I'd like to know that you will feel um, cared for by this service over the holidays and at some point I will be back and some of you of course I will be seeing behind the scenes in our sessions and I hope some of you new will be new to that and I will connect with you as well so until I come back I can't stop shuffling cards I just do it automatically now until I come back or um, until we meet somewhere else lots of love to you love and angel blessings and of course angel hugs and thanks for watching bye
飘。